people around the world have seen varying depictions of Jesus Christ. Universe Live reporter Amy Ortiz found an art exhibit is pushing the boundaries to paint a more inclusive view of Christ. Amy, where is the exhibit being displayed? Local rare book and art gallery Writ and Vision is hosting the Mosaic of Christ art show, which features culturally diverse representations of Jesus Christ. The Mosaic of Christ exhibit contains a wide range of pieces, including Latino interpretations of Christ and Chinese watercolor. This idea of a mosaic, that there's lots of little pieces that make up the whole. Written Vision Director of Programming Esther Kundari says the Meeting House Mosaic presented the idea of hosting the art exhibit in her gallery. The goal was to broaden people's views on religion and deity. Historically, we've had some pretty narrow depictions of the way that we paint and sculpt and draw um, depictions of Christ. Together, they curated art pieces submitted by artists worldwide. Navajo artist Tyrone Whitehorse tells us participating gave him the opportunity to portray Christ, drawing from his Native American roots. Very rarely do we see many Native American artists portraying Christ himself. Whitehorse says blending his Latter-day Saint beliefs with the cultural teachings he grew up with was strengthening for him. He emphasizes the color of Jesus' skin is not as important to him as Christ's role in bringing people closer to God. For people of color, to see the Savior through cultural lenses helps us feel a little bit closer to what we feel like Christ is in our hearts. Whitehorse says he hopes those who visit the gallery will discover Christ's individual love and message for them. I think that he can touch all of us on a very individual level. Those wanting to take a look at the diverse representations of Jesus Christ should know the show is running from now until February 24th. Reporting for Universe Live in Provo, I'm Amy Ortiz. Thanks, Amy. The Meeting House Mosaic has curated essays and other educational materials about the exhibit, which you can find on their website.